Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you how you can simply use accounting. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just click on get started. Now you have options to close this accounting on our server. You can choose cloud or you can download to your server. I'm going to choose the cloud because there's like really safe. Company name, I'll just add here the name, default language and currency. You can change everything. Create a company. Now just wait. I said to bring the company for you and for me also. And here we are. So first, you have Epic key. You can also generate it or copy it. Then you have tax number here. Financial year start first January. Email address, and you can add logo. Click save. Then you have currencies here. You can enable British pound, Euro, Turkish lira, and US dollar. Or you can add new also. Code and rate if you want to. Let's go 15. And while I got it, what you can do, click next. Also, you can disable. Then you have taxes here that you can add a new taxes and the name and 20% and click save. And when I got it, click next. And now you can also get applications uh, like double entry inventory projects that you can buy. And now just click go to dashboard right here. When you're going to be, you're going to see total income here total expenses, total profit. Then you're going to see cash flow, income by category, and we'll zoom in, expense by category, account balance, latest income, and latest expenses. Right now, I'll click items. In items, I can simply add a new. I can add a name. Let's go book. Sales tax. I'll get to it. Description. This is a book. Now, right here, you're going to see sales price. And I can simply just write, I don't know, 50 or 50 purchase price can be 25 and category can be general or you can add a new category. And the category is going to be named books. Click save. And now you can also enable the category or no. That's also really up to if you want it to have enabled and click save. Right now we got our first item. Let's click on the sales. In sales, you're going to see customers, revenue, invoices. I'm going to click on a customers here and I can simply add a new customer. And again, I will just add name with email address. I can add a text number. I can add a phone currency. I can add a website and reference. And if he can log in, he can. And now click save. Right now I will have a new customer and I can simply go to invoices and add a new invoice. I can add a customer. Okay. Then I can add an item and I can add a quantity of five. And then I got invoice date, invoice number, due date, order number. I can add more items. You can also change footer here, or you can have it as a recurring. Click save. And then this is a draft invoice and reflected to charts after it gets sent, send email. Voila, I can also mark as a pay or add a payment. Then I have revenues here or when you're going to see the invoice, you can go to top right to more actions and you can duplicate it or download it as a PDF. Then you have revenues here and revenues a paid income transaction. It can be an independent record deposit, create revenue. And same thing, cash amount can be 100 customer. Description for a book and it can be deposit or sales. I can go payment with cash. And you can also, if you would have an invoice, you can sell the invoice here. 
so let's click save and right then we're gonna see it in our revenue in dashboard see income 100 so yeah then total income 400 receivables 300 purchases then I go here to vendors and this is the same process I'm going to create a vendor and I'm just going to add it here vendor one Add it literally the same as in sales, click save. Then I got to see the payments. You can create a payment, is a pay transaction. Cash, select the vendor and I can add 50. Same thing, it's going to be recurring. You can change the category and payment method and click save. Then you're going to see the bills here, other purchases, and you can create a bill. Right here, you can add a new, add a vendor, vendor one. Book, OK. Click save. It, it's literally the same as with invoice. And you can do this. And voila. Next thing is banking. In banking, you're going to have accounts and you can simply add a new account. It can be like name, number, bank name, bank phone. Then you're going to see transfers here that you can transfer between the bank and your check. Then you're going to see all the transactions what was happening. So I can see the income here and expense. And then you're going to see reconciliations of your bank and you can create it. And you can like zoom it up if they are the same. Then next thing is reports or our reports. And you see it here. So we got expense summary, $80, income summary, 400 income versus expense, 320 accounting, 275 tax summary. So the reporting is really simple here. And you can simply add a new. And you can select the type and name for it. But these are just like basics for the reporting. Then just click settings here. And you can again have a company here, invoice, and you can edit all the set, like company settings, default currencies, expense categories, everything. Offline payments, taxes, scheduling. And you can also have PayPal here. And the last thing that you can have are applications. So in apps, you can simply buy, let's go, I don't know, project. And I see projects here and click on it. And you see it here that automatically when you're going to buy it, you can add a new project that you can use. So because it's like completely for free. So this is the way how you can actually support accounting. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down in comments. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye. See ya.